What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today and today we're gonna have a look at Hogwarts Legacy But on my secondary capture computer here. So before we jump into the game Let's just do the specs real quick for the people that are new joining us for the first time We got a 5800 X 3d in here a RTX 3090 founders to be specific. And we got a 360 millimeter all-in-one EK Basic cooling the processor. We got 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz DDR4. It's a uh, dual rank as well and CL14. We got a ASRock X570 Tai Chi for the motherboard. And then powering the whole thing, we got a 1000 watt Corsair RM1000. So that's about it. Oh, and then we got an Alienware monitor here. It's a free, it's an ultra wide 3440 by 1440 IPS, G-Sync and all that good stuff. It's 120 hertz, so not the fastest, but pretty damn good for a one for the particular screen it is and how old it is it's a couple years old now so definitely not bad definitely kind of want to upgrade it to that bendable oled once i move into the new house though and then i figure i could just give this one to my to my mom because i just built her a pretty badass new computer i just need to get her a gpu and get that and hell she could even play some games if she really wanted to but anyway let's now go ahead and jump on into the game look at some settings and get some gameplay well all right before we get into the game let's look over our settings real quick here So we're at ultra wide, obviously. I turned some of that crap off because I just don't like it. And it doesn't really affect FPS or anything, so it really won't have any, you know, pull when it comes to settings or anything. It's just annoying shit that gets in the way and makes stuff look lame, in my opinion. Anyway, though, that's the bottom, so let's go get into the game, shall we? Well, all righty, here we are at Hogwarts. So let's just run around a little bit. And as I said in every other video, don't worry, I'm also gonna go off into the town, and I'm also gonna go off into the foresty areas as well in another video. This video is just focusing on Hogwarts. And on the Steam Deck, I kinda just played from the beginning, because I kinda figured we were gonna basically get to Hogwarts, but then it turned into a whole adventure. I don't wanna ruin anything for anybody who doesn't know what's going on, so I won't. That's the other reason I love to start the game at the beginning. That way I don't ruin anything too badly for anybody. If I start playing at like the middle of the game or at the end of the game, then people are gonna be like, well, what the hell? Now I just had the game ruined for me. What the fuck? All I wanted to see how is how it ran, and now I have the game ruined. But like, like Danielle told me, you can't Off please everybody. Adventure, it's we? not possible. So you're always gonna irritate someone with your videos or someone's not gonna be pleased with them. And that's okay. As long as the majority of you like them, that's what counts. Anyway, let's move on now. So now let's drop this thing down to high. And then we'll run around again. So far, so good, though I have a feeling it's gonna fall flat on its face when we get to the ray tracing part. Ray tracing anymore just seems to be almost impossible to run unless you use DLSS. Anyway, moving on. Well, all right, guys, now we are on high and we're still getting around 100-ish FPS, at least in the Hogwarts little castle here anyway. But even here, some places are hard to run. On my Steam Deck and on my laptop, now? there were parts in this place where I would drop under 60 FPS on the Asus and under 30 on the Steam Deck, just by running around. Now, luckily on the Steam Deck, it wasn't that bad. It would drop down to like 26, 27. Oh, Very similar to how Elden Ring runs for me. Just every once in a blue moon, you'll just be running around like this, turn around a corner, and you'll see it drop a little, and you'll feel the stutter. And that's the kind of shit I don't like in games. Like that right there, I don't like what it just did. I don't like little stutters like that. But, hey, it is what it is, and it seems like almost every single frickin' game that has DirectX 12 stutters. I'm, like, super surprised when there's a game that has no stutter, honestly, anymore. And it's not always a PC problem, either. I've seen it on consoles, too. Not really on the Switch, but on the PS5 and the Series X, I've definitely seen games that come out that are definitely not great, either. Forspoken is one of them. Watch my friend play on his PS5. I'm like, uh, what the fuck? This looks like a PS3 game. Anyway, moving on. Well, now it's time for medium. So let's go and look at all of our medium-esque settings. There's a decent amount of settings this game, but it doesn't take us that long to get through all of them. See, we're already down at the bottom. So why don't we now get into the game? Okay, now where we go with the medium gameplay. So we'll just run around again. I'm not going to lie, in a lot of spots, it seems like the FPS just stays kind of the same. But it seems like medium has finally done a little bit. Before, we seemed to just be kind of stuck at right around 100 to 112. Now we're all the way up to 140s. But I don't know too many people who would want to play a game like this on a system like this and deal with all medium settings. I just like going through all of them to show you what they're all capable of. 
and then everybody can make their own informed decision. Now, there might be a setting or two you might want to auto adjust to put down on me if you can't even tell the difference anyway. Like, if you can't see the graphical change, but you can definitely tell the gra uh, FPS hit, that's a no brainer to me. Shadows are almost always the first to go on my list. Because as long as it doesn't look like 10 bit blocks on the ground, I'm, I'm a pretty much a happy guy. It doesn't have to look like ultra soft or realistic. I'm not here looking at all the shadows for the most part. Reflections like the floor and shit right now is kind of what I notice in games the most, because it's like right in your face. Well, we've made it to low, a setting almost no one would ever want to play on a system like this, but hey, we're going to do it anyway. Oh yeah, and as you've noticed, I figured out how to get the some more FPS numbers to pop up, but they're not working quite correct, so I obviously need a little bit more practice with that. Well, now here we go on low. So let's just run around again. Honestly, the FPS seems very similar to medium. We seem to be in the 130s to 140s. Oh no, we got up to the 170s and shit in spots. I don't think we got quite that high on medium anywhere. So it's definitely doing something. Hell, on some of those lower settings, I sat there wondering, like, is it actually changing the graphics? Because I know some games have errors and shit when you change graphics, it's not actually changing them. I've seen so many games do that to me in the past, and then I have to go back and fuck with them and go online and figure out how to make them actually change them. Always a pain in the ass, but I still have fun doing this, so I do it anyway. Sometimes little tiny things pop in that aren't super fun during your fun activities, and you just take those and go, eh, well, whatever, that was a little lame. But anyway, back to the fun, you know? Misty's calling. She wants to play. What are Sorry, you Misty. To I'm now? doing voiceovers. I'll play with you when I'm done, all right? The dormitory is always <laughs> Silly kitty. Anyway, though, let's move on, shall we? So now let's try ray tracing out. So we're just going to max the game completely out on its recommended settings. And we're just going to flip all of them on at once. And then instead of going through all three of those and turning them up and on, we're just going to go through the quality from ultra down to low. So starting at ultra, Let's get into the game. Well, now let's try some ray tracing out. How nice to see you, my young friend. I'm not gonna lie, I can tell the floor got a little more shiny, but in all honesty, it almost looks it look worse. I don't know what it is, but it just kind of looks like all the people's reflections look more blocky and low resolution than they did when it was just no ray tracing. But eh, maybe I'm that's just all in my head. I definitely notice a giant FPS drop though. We're up under 60 though on a 3090. And we're just in this castle. Supposedly, uh, going through town forest is way harder than this. So if it can't do it here, it's definitely gonna go fall flat on its face in town. Damn, all the way down to the 40s even? Sheesh. Well, ray tracing is heavy, especially if you want ultra. I bet you if we just turn it down to high, we'll probably gain like 10, 12 FPS. Let's go try now. All right, we're gonna do another ray tracing one here again, but now we're gonna drop it down to high. Everything else we're just gonna leave on recommended ultra, but now as you can see, the quality is only on high instead of ultra. So let's go see what kind of FPS we get now. Well, here's ray tracing on high. So let's just run around a little bit. What are you up to now? And we still are probably gonna drop under 60, but this is still doing a lot better than ultra was doing. We were dropping into the 40s and shit around here. Like I remember down here, we dropped down into the 50s, and we're still in the mid 60s here, high 60s even at parts. So yeah, I definitely helped out a lot. But I have a feeling since we were at 61 right there, if we were out in town or in the forest, we would still drop under 60 in spots. See, we just dropped down to 58, so definitely, assuredly, is exactly what would happen. But that's okay. Most of the time, ray tracing is just Extra eye candy you can turn on if you can. If you can't handle it, it's not a big deal. And this is exactly why consoles almost always have a 30 FPS cap. When there's ray tracing, or there's almost no ray tracing to be had at all if it can manage 60. Anyway, let's have some tea. And now, let's also move on. Well, now here we go. Ultra again. But this time we have the settings on medium. And with that, we can get back into the game. All right, now we have ray tracing on medium, and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of seems like the same FPS as high. Whereas not really looking that much different. Interesting. 
Order of low ray tracer would be the same. Potato! <laughs> Use all our cool stuff. Revelio. Seeing this, I think we would probably just uh, stay on high, you know? Anyway, let's move on. Well, now we've made it to low ray tracing. And as soon as we're done with this, we'll jump into the DLSS. There we go, low ray tracing right there. So, let's now get back to the game. Well, now, let's get some low ray tracing in. And right off the bat, honestly, it seems about the same as high and medium. <sighs> So far, Ultra was really the only one that really fucked our FPS up super, super bad. I mean, the other one still lost us like 20 FPS, but Ultra's like almost 30 FPS, it seems. It's fucking crazy. Ray tracing is definitely hard to run, though. That's why you almost always need some help from DLSS. But then you're not at the native res anymore. But it's all right with me. But if I can get away with not using DLSS at all, I will. Which means if I don't want to turn ray tracing on, I won't. On the main computer, I probably won't. I'm still trying to decide if I want to try ray tracing out on this I've one. Always said if I can that travel fiddle with the settings enough. I can't believe this. Yes. Anyway, though, why don't we now move on to some DLSS? All right, now we're going to try some DLSS out. And we're going to start off with DLSS quality. Obviously, we can't do frame generation, or I'll try that out. That is limited to the 4000 series, unfortunately. Anyway, there's all those settings, and we're just gonna leave it on Ultra, like it recommends. The only thing I'm gonna do is I turned off the shadows on ray tracing and put it on high instead of Ultra. So now, to the game. All right, now it's time for DLSS. And we even have ray tracing on. So, now will be a good test to see if it can stay above 60, at least here. This is no guarantee it will stay above 60 everywhere in the game, of course, but at least as far as here is concerned. Oh, and on the Steam Deck last night, I was playing a before bed of this game, and I already got to the town, so I can already start on my town recordings now. Just running around in the town, seeing what kind of FPS we can get. And then after that, I'll go find that foresty area people are talking about, and do that as well. But with those videos, I'm not gonna go through all of the different settings like I did in this one. I'll probably just deal with my, my settings, and then if it can't handle them, we'll fiddle with my settings again until we can, if possible. Might get to the point where it's like, oh, nope, just isn't playable. Like on stuff like the Steam Deck or the uh, Asus, but I doubt it. Now, let's move on. All right, now for DLSS balanced. So here's all the settings. And now let's look at these guys. We're still on the recommended on Ultra here. And we have ray tracing on, but I turned ray tracing shadows off and put the quality on high. So let's go see how it does now. Now, how does DLSS balanced fare? Let's find out by running around a little bit here. Fun looking at the animated paintings. head back over to our little stopping point, I guess. Yeah, we can move on. Hey, that chick had a broom. Oh, I went to the wrong freaking spot, I think. We definitely dropped under 60, though. That was definitely kind of weird. Now, DLSS performance. So I'll 
take you through all the settings again real fast. And then we will go and check out the game. Still on Ultra, same ray tracing settings and all of that as well. So now it's back to the game time. Well, now here is DLSS performance, so let's run around a little bit. Handy resource indeed, your field. And I think I am going to take me a nice little hit. Fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. Huh. Notice sometimes the knights and stuff on the walls move too. There's so much animated stuff in this place. It's really cool. I remember there was some skeleton of like a dog or a cat or something I touched and it freaked out on me too. And I was like, whoa. That's about good. Time to move on. Now we're finishing up with DLSS Ultra Performance, which looks like it's 480p ultra wide. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But all the same settings as we've had. I wish it would start up at the top like that for crying out loud. Anyway, here's all the ultra settings that we were running before. I haven't changed nothing on you. Wouldn't want to do that. So now, game time. Well, now let's finish up the DLSS with a little DLSS Ultra Performance. How nice to see you, my young friend. Which really doesn't seem to be getting much better performance than the just performance setting. I think it makes it such low resolution you create yourself a huge CPU bottleneck. Hogwarts is a second home to me. I mean, we are, definitely. Look at our CPU, we're only 50% utilization. Which definitely indicates a CPU bottleneck. But that's what happens if you go too hard on the DLSS. And ray tracing is also harder on your CPU as well. A lot of people don't understand that. It's hard on the GPU, yes but it's also hard on the CPU. Ah, see, there's one of those knights I was talking about. He was all like, hail there. But yeah, doesn't look very good. And we still drop down to 64 and stuff, but I think we're actually dropping more frames now than we were on performance, which is funny. But hey, that's what happens when you introduce bottlenecks. That's why this is mostly for like if you want to do 8K or something silly like that. Anyway, let's move on. All right, guys, before we get into the game, I figured we'd go over the settings real quick since we've been through so many. These are going to be my settings I'm going to run, which is just going to be playing the game on Ultra with no ray tracing and no DLSS or any of that stuff. Because ray tracing seems to just fuck over your FPS on this particular GPU too much at this resolution already. And I only turn it on if I can do it and still get over 60, no problem. So, that wasn't the case here. Even with DLSS's help, it looked like we were going to have little drops here and there once we got out. So, I didn't like that. So, I turned the ray tracing off. But, it was doing a halfway decent job just with turning that off. Ray trace shadows are kind of silly anyway. But, Amplification Reflections, that's alright. But the ray tracing in this game didn't seem that fantastic anyway, so I, I feel like it's best to just keep it off and get the extra frames. That's just me, though. That's just me. At least on this particular setup. Now, my attitude will probably change on my main computer, where I'll probably be able to get around when there's no problem, get 60 everywhere no matter what, even with ray tracing on and no DLSS. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong and I have to get my words and won't be able to do that. But let's jump in the game, shall we? All right, guys, let's get ourselves some camera gameplay here. Running around in Hogwarts. And like I said before, I am definitely going to get some more gameplay once we get out into the town and all the computers and the Steam Deck and all that too. I just wanted to get a little bit in the Hogwarts and at the beginning of the game and everything too. See how it does. So now we'll just run around for a little bit, just for fun.
down here. Shoot. I get a little lost in this area sometimes. I wanted to kind of go upstairs. There we go. Now see, it still has some stutters though here and there. So, it's not a flawlessly smooth experience with the uncapped frame rate anyway. But even if I capped mine to 120 like my monitor does, it still would probably do the same thing, but just saying. But they're not the kind of stutters that make me go, oh my god, this game's unplayable. It's not dropping down to one FPS or anything crazy like that. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, there's another quest for me right there. We sometimes have to remind you. I've decided to go up. All right, so this is the highest point, it seems. At least in this building I'm at. Oh, wait, no, I lied. It goes up higher than that, shit. Holy crap, this thing is tall. Now, I was just about to say, I was about ready to fucking say I was at the top, but no. That's an observatory thing, and you can still go up higher yet. Okay. Now we're at the top. I think that's probably enough camera gameplay for this. So, why don't we now go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Hogwarts Legacy on the secondary computer, and it did a pretty good job. Ray tracing was a little hit or miss, so I did not leave that on. That added, seemed to add a lot more stutter, and didn't really look that awful fantastic, so I probably won't even turn it on my main computer if it ain't gonna be able to get me 60 FPS plus. And it was doing all right here, but that does not mean it's going to once we get out in the city or in the forest, so I was just kind of preparing myself for that. I didn't want to sit here and say, oh yeah, you could just run the game maxed out, totally, yeah. No, we don't know that yet. We only know we can run it pretty much maxed out with some DLSS help in Hogwarts in the little castle area. So gonna have to watch my later videos to find out how it does in the city and in the forest because I plan to do that tomorrow. But that's all I got for you guys for this particular video today. It's time for me to go and wrap this up with the main computer next. But I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you. And until the next video, peace out guys.